Now, I might be a little biased here, but when it comes to soul samples and compositions in hip hop, there really isn't that much that's touching the luxurious sounds that we got from Rick Ross in his Maybach music series. And since I've had the opportunity to work with Ross on multiple songs, today I decided to give you a quick peek into my own process and show you how you can make your own samples with that sound. So for this sample, I started off with the piano from Addictive Keys. Now, as far as the effects go, there really isn't much to see on the piano itself. I just have this EQ here where I'm cutting out the low end, and then I have another EQ, which is the EQP1A that I'm really just using to add a little bit of warmth just because I love the sound of the EQ. But then to kind of beef up the piano and add a little bit more ambiance, I do have two sends on the piano. So the first one is a reverb send, which you can see here, and I have the H verb going. And then on the second send, I have an H comp where I'm basically just doing some parallel compression with the piano. Now, next up, I have the violin section, which actually is handling the main melody. And for this sample, I'm using the LA Scoring Strings, which is a contact library. It's really dope. And here's what that sounds like. So before I show you the effects on the strings, I'm gonna give you a quick pro tip on how you can play your strings to make them sound more dynamic and more nuanced. So as you can see here with all the MIDI notes on the strings, I don't have them playing all at the same velocity. And the reason for that, especially when it comes to strings and string libraries with the better ones, the more you vary your velocities, the more you're gonna start to hear different articulations coming out of the strings. And that's how you get a string library like this one to give you a more glissando sound when you're playing it. Because for example, let's say I did play the strings like this where it's all one velocity, this is what it would sound like. And there's nothing really wrong with that. Like this is a really good sounding string library. But in order to get the most out of it, try playing at different velocities to see what different types of articulations you're gonna get from your strings. Now going back to the effects, I'm really only doing two things here. I'm doing some EQ, again, cutting out the low end. And then as far as the effects are concerned for the strings, all I'm really doing is sending them to a reverb, which is actually the same reverb that the piano is going to. So next up, I have a layered choir that's layering the strings and adding more depth to the sample as a whole. Now for the choirs, there's actually a few things going on. I'm using two separate plugins. The first one is Omnisphere, and then the second one is the Miroslav Philharmonic plugin from IK Multimedia. And then as you can see here, I have both of those plugins grouped to their own bus with their own effects on it. The first effect is this Kramer Master Tape plugin that I'm using for some saturation. And then the second effect that I'm using is the R compressor, and I'm basically just using it to glue both of the choirs together. So once I got the piano and the choir and the strings layered down, I wanted it to sound a little bit more sophisticated, a little bit more expensive. So I added this harp from a contact library by Project Sam called Concert Harp. Now, as far as adding a harp to your own samples is concerned, I'm not gonna sit here and act like playing it like this is gonna be easy, but it's me, so I do have a cheat code for you. If you wanna play a harp in one of your own samples and you wanna have that dream sequence kind of sound, here's what you can do. Step one, run your hand against the keyboard like this. So now that you have that recorded in as MIDI, step two is just to adjust the MIDI note so that it matches the key of the song that you're playing it. And then a bonus hack is if you don't wanna do that for every single song that you have a harp in, now you can just save that MIDI file, drag it into your next session, and then transpose it to match the key of whatever song or beat that is that you're making at the time. And now we move on to the effects, which I'm actually handling the harp kind of the same way that I'm handling the piano, which is I'm sending the harp to the same reverb channel that all the other instruments are going to, mainly to have it all sound like it's all in the same space. And then I'm also sending the harp over to the same parallel compressor that the piano is going to. And that's because I wanted the harp to poke through in the mix just a little bit more. And now, believe it or not, we're on to our last instrument, which is the bass, which is a contact library, and it's just the basic classic bass that comes with contact. And here's what that sounds like. And then finally, we put everything together. So 
So that was a look into my process for making the luxurious Maybach Music S sound. If you want 10 royalty free samples from me, I left the link in the description for that. And if you want to make your own authentic sounding samples, but you're not quite sure if you can because you don't know how to play the keys, check out this video right here.